So you want to become wealthy and you want to generate that income so that you can buy all of the things that you've always dreamed about. That nice beach house, that tour across the world, or that nice fancy car. And we all know that the most successful people and most of the millionaires and billionaires out there are entrepreneurs. So you figured out that entrepreneurship is the only way to get there and to get where you want to be with your financial success in life. But now the question is, what type of business should you start? What type of business should you start? And I get this question from a lot of startup entrepreneurs. They ask me, oh, but what type of business should I start? Now, what I can tell you right now is that you shouldn't start the business that everyone else is starting, right? You shouldn't go with the latest trend. Everybody's in property investment. Now you want to get into property investment. Or everyone's buying and selling cars right now. Now you want to get into this. Or everyone's doing Forex or Bitcoin. And now you want to get into cryptocurrency. Or everyone's doing this or that or that. And now you want to get into that. Don't do it. Don't fall for the latest investment or the latest get rich quick or the latest make money quick thing or do what everyone else is doing. All of those businesses can generate money, but not necessarily for you. You need to find the business that is right for you. You see, because entrepreneurship is a very personal thing. You're going to spend a lot of time with your business. Believe me, you're going to spend a lot of time with your business. It's going to be a part of your life. It's going to be your life. And if you don't like what you're doing or you don't have an interest in what you're doing and you're just doing it because that is what everyone else is doing and that's what everyone else is saying or making a lot of money. If you're just doing it for that reason, then you won't be happy and you won't succeed. Entrepreneurship is also a very tough endeavor to pursue. It's very tough. You can see all around you with the economy fluctuating, the hours you have to put in to make your business work. It's going to take a lot of hard work. I mean, in 2016, I only slept four hours for a whole year. Four hours a night for a whole year to get my online media company going. When we got the online media company going, we had to go from business to business, door to door, every day. We had to see about 10 new clients just to get some sales going. Yes, today it's a big, successful, roaring business. But at that, time, at that stage, it took a lot of hard work to get it going. With my property investment business, I used to work on weekends while I was in high school and while I was studying every weekend. I didn't go out with friends. I worked on weekends at my properties. I was working there in the dust and in the cement with a pickaxe and my pity brook and my tank top. I was doing hard blue collar labor to make that business work. Yes, today I have a construction team that goes out and renovates my properties and I have a big property portfolio, but it didn't start there. Initially, it was very, very tough to get my businesses going. So with that being said, you need to love what you do. You need to have an interest in what you do. Otherwise, you're not going to create a successful business. And that is why only one out of three businesses succeed. Because people chase the newest trend or the newest money-making scheme that they're not really interested in or that they don't really have a passion for. And then when they have to put in the late nights, the early mornings, the hard work, or when the economy takes a dip, they quit. They get out of it because they didn't really like it anyway. And that is why it is so important that you choose something that you love, that you're interested about, that you're passionate about. And that is the only way you're going to build a business that will really succeed. Now, how can you find what you love or what you're passionate about? How can you find the correct business to start for you? Now, a good place to start is to find out what makes you curious. Just think about it for a, for a bit. What are you thinking about? What are you wondering about? 
What are you curious about? And the reason you need to find that is because that leads to excitement. Now think about this. You've, you've, you've experienced this. You see something or you hear about something from a friend or you see something online and it prickles your interest. And then you're curious about it. So you start Googling it. You start watching videos about it. You start looking it up on social media. You start thinking about it, right? You start trying to get more information about this thing and it gets you, you know, worked up and you're very excited about this thing. You start looking at pictures of it uh, on Pinterest. It could be a new car or a new pair of shoes or a new phone or, or some new idea or some new technology or something that you've discovered that really makes you curious and that turns into excitement. And then what happens? When you have that excitement, you start experiencing a massive amount of new energy, endless energy. You start experiencing that energy. And you've also experienced this. Remember that day when you were really tired, you, you just wanted to go to bed, it's late at night, you want to go to sleep, you don't want to talk to anyone, you don't want to see anyone, you don't want to do anything else, you just want to go to sleep. And you're in your bed, and then you still have time. You told everyone, I don't have time, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. But then, you still have time to Google that favorite car that you have, or those new shoes that you saw or that new phone that you want to buy. And then that kept you up until late at night when you still watch videos about it and looked at it and look at all the different configurations or models or whatever. And it kept you up for at least another few hours, right? Why did you have that extra energy? Where did you get that from? It comes from that curiosity, that excitement, and that gives you the energy to go on far beyond where you felt tired or we didn't want to speak to other people. And that is the secret. Because if you find a business that you're passionate about, that you're curious about, you're going to have excitement for it. And then you're going to have endless energy for it. And that is what's going to be that extra thing, that extra ingredient that you need to make your business successful. Because when the going gets tough for other entrepreneurs, they quit because they don't have the extra energy to push it into the business to make that business work. But if you have that extra energy, you can build a successful business, right? And then most of the time, something like this also goes along with a skill that you have, maybe experience that you have, knowledge that you have, and a network that you have, right? Something that you're excited about may, might be something that you're already doing, like a hobby, right? Let's say you're very excited about music. So that keeps you up at night. You can stay up until 3 o'clock at night googling all of the latest guitars or the different colors or the newest ranges that they've released. And you get excited when you get into a music store because then you can see all of the guitars in real life and you can see all of the instruments and that gets you excited and you can spend hours in that store versus in class where you can barely concentrate for an hour. But when you're in the music store, you can spend hours there and, and really get excited about it and that endless energy comes up when you're in the music store, when you're busy with musical instruments. Now maybe you're also playing the musical instrument, so you have a skill. You also have experience with the different types of guitars, with the different types of instruments, and you also know friends that play guitar and that are in bands or that uses musical instruments, etc. Can you see that there's already a skill that you can sell, knowledge that you can sell, and then a network that you have access to, which can be a client base. So think about this. Your hobbies, things that interest you, things that get you excited. Maybe in some of them, you also have skills, experience, knowledge, and a network. Now we're starting to build a business. So what can we do practically right now? I want you to take a piece of paper because we're going to do a practical exercise that's going to help you to start that business that's right for you. So on the piece of paper, write down all of the things that gets you curious, that makes you excited and that you have an additional energy for. So write down all of those things, all of your interests, all of your passions, all of the things you love, right, in the one column. 
And then in the next column, you write down all of them which you have a skill as well, which you have some experience as well, which you have a network as well. Let's say you're interested in, the, in guitars and musical instruments like we just said, and you're also very interested in nice, beautiful sports cars. But with the sports cars, you don't have a lot of experience. You've never worked on a car. You haven't driven a sports car. You don't know a lot of people that own sports cars. So next to the sports car interest, you're just going to write, um, no, I don't have any skill here or experience or network here. But next to the musical interest or the guitar interest or the music instrument interest, you're going to write, yes, I can play guitar. I have a network of people. I know where to buy equipment and uh, guitars and musical instruments. And then you can clearly see in your list all of the things that you're passionate about, all of the things that you have skill and experience in. Then you can quickly see which of these items have both. You're both interested in it. You have experience in it and skills in it. Now that is one that can be a possible business for you. So I want you to circle those ones. Okay, do we have this down? First piece of paper, write down everything you're passionate about, curious about, excited about, something that gives you endless energy. Then in the next column, you write down next to all of those, which of those do you have some extra skill in, experience in, knowledge in, networks in? And then the ones that has the most additional benefit, like the skills, um, experience, network, you circle those ones. And now you should have at least one or two or maybe even three possible business endeavors where you both have the excitement, the curiosity and the energy and you have some skill, experience, knowledge and network. Now that is the type of business to start for you. Now let's talk practical. How can you now change this into a business? Let's say one of those things was gaming. You love gaming. You're passionate about gaming. You, you game yourself and you can stay up up until three at night gaming, right? Because that's what you love to do. And then next to it, you write, yes, I game myself. So I know the games. I build, build, build my own PCs, right? So I know the parts. I know how to build a PC, right? I have friends that also plays games. So I have a network of people. Now think about that. There you have all of those things in your recipe. How can you now monetize it? So firstly, you know all of the different games. You have experience, so you know what you're talking about. You've built PCs yourself. So maybe you can build PCs for other people. You know where to find the best parts at the best prices because you've done it for yourself. So now maybe you can buy those parts and resell it to who? To your friends that you already know. You have a network in the gaming community. Because you, have, you know these people that also play the same games, needs the same PCs that you have. So now you can build PCs or resell parts to these friends or to these people that you already have. You can take it a step further. You can maybe arrange an event because you have all of these people together that can come and you can play a tournament in the type of games that you like because you have experience in it. And then at this tournament, you can sell parts and PCs or you can even sell tickets to the tournament. Right? You can take it a step further. You play the games yourself so you know the characters and the ones you like. And you know what type of characters your friends like. So you can start producing merchandise like statues and t-shirts and all kinds of things about these characters that they can then buy or buy and use themselves. Can you see how you can take any type of interest and if you just think a little bit, a bit about it, you can monetize it and change it into a business. And now this business is something that you're curious about, that you're excited about, and that you have endless energy for. So then you have the correct recipe to build a successful business. So let's recap. You want to create wealth and build a financial successful future for yourself. You figured out that entrepreneurship and starting a business is the best way to do that. But now the question is, what type of business should you start? Now, the number one rule is don't start the business that everyone else is starting. The next get rich quick scheme or the next make money quick uh, endeavor. All right? Don't do that. Start the business that is right for you. Find something that is unique 
and true to yourself. Something that you're curious about, excited about, and something that you're passionate about and gives you that extra energy. Then you take that thing and combine it with your current skills, education, knowledge, experience, background, the network. And then you have the correct recipe to build a business that is right for you. When all of the other entrepreneurs will give up, when the economy dips, or when they have to put in the late nights, or the early mornings, or the weekends, or the hard work, that wouldn't be a problem for you, because you already love what you're doing. So working an extra night, or working over the weekends, or getting up early in the morning won't be an issue, because you're doing what you love. And that way you build a business that can survive an economic climate, that can then survive tough times, and that can generate an income for you and create wealth for you while doing something that you're excited about. And that is the right business to start for you. So practically we've said, take a piece of paper, write down all of the things that gets you excited, and then write down all of your skills, networks, and knowledge and experience, and match the two up. And then circle those ones that matches both columns. And that will be possible business endeavors for you to get started. Now, if you want to know more, if you want to know exactly how to build that business and start from nothing and get it to a successful business that can generate the money for you, then I have some more for you. You see, I've taken all of my experience years of lessons learned, tools, tips and techniques that I've gathered over the years of becoming a millionaire at the age of 22 and I've put it all together in an online course for you. And we're working together with Junior Tiki to give you a discount on that online course if you use the coupon code displayed on this video right here, right now. So go to my website, www.millionaire22.com, go to the Young Millionaire course, add it to your cart, proceed to check out, and then just before you buy the course, you add this coupon to the course and you will receive a big discount on the course. This course will give you everything you need from the foundation of financial education up until how to build a business that can run successfully and start generating money for you. So don't wait another day. Don't think about what type of business you should start. Start today and start building your financial success for yourself.